Hey guys, happy new year. I hope you had absolutely fantastic uh, new year celebrations and you started your new year just right. Uh, I am Eva, your personality and talent development uh, psychologist. And today I'm here to talk about new year's resolutions and how to make them work. Because many people uh, this time of year uh, kind of think about their New Year's resolutions and um, well usually um, unfortunately many people fail so I'm here today to encourage you and to give you a few tips how to make them work and uh, how to make this year um, much better for you thanks to your new year's resolution uh, as well so what i really like about new year's uh, resolution is that they are very often about a positive change so uh, many people want to be better at something people want to improve their life uh, in certain areas and that's absolutely great so it uh, makes me really sad that many people struggle with keeping up with their new year's resolutions so what can you do to uh, stick with your resolutions so first things first um you know, if you want to make some positive change, if you want to improve yourself, if you want to do something good, you don't have to wait for New Year's. You don't have to wait for, uh, you know, the next Monday. You don't have to wait for a swimsuit season. Just start doing it, you know, right away if possible. Um, because if you wait for like the next big milestone, um, you kind of delay the process of change and you postpone it and postpone it. You know, the best time to make a positive change is now. Okay, so if your New Year's resolution, you know, doesn't work in next one, two months, then start over and don't wait for the next year or for the next best uh, time to do that just start right away okay so that's tip number one um so the other uh, so the next tip is like don't push it don't start doing it everything right away okay you need to kind of start doing it gradually not you know pushing it uh, you know full throttle uh, right away because again you are setting yourself up for a failure you need to kind of start building up um, so if you want to um, I don't know start um, exercising then you know it might not be the best idea to spend your first day uh, of uh, exercising uh, you know uh, like running one hour uh, on a treadmill right so um, start gradually go for a walk right 20 30 minutes that's absolutely fine and you are actually starting um, building a good habit and um, you know who knows you might spend one hour running on a treadmill in six months without uh, you know, any issues so that's uh, another important thing you need to start slow um, then you also should be really persistent uh, it takes some time to get used to something new something you're not used to already um you know it, it is said that it usually takes at least 21 days to kind of incorporate some new habit into your life so um think about it and uh, plan your next 
three, four weeks accordingly. So you can actually be sure that you can make um, enough time. You can dedicate yourself uh, for next at least 21 days to your new habit and to you getting used to it, creating new routine. Um, then also, and this is kind of um, new neurolinguistic programming tip, don't formulate your goals, your uh, resolutions um, in a negative way. So if you um, want to stop smoking, for example, don't tell yourself, I will stop smoking, I won't smoke. Um, just figure out something you want to do instead. Don't create this empty space in your life uh, and because you might have then the tendency to kind of fill it out a bit randomly and it might be another bad habit, another habit you don't want to have. So, you know, don't just think about things you don't want to do or think about things you want to do instead, okay? So don't just get rid of a bad habit, uh, build a new one, good one. Uh, and then the last important tip for you is don't give up. So, you know, if necessary, start over and over again. People fail, it happens. Uh, it happens that you won't reach your goal um, easily. It happens that you will meet some hindrances, some hurdles on your way, you will fall. You know, the important thing is to get up and keep going, starting all over again, okay? Every time is the best time to start uh, a positive, good change. And the really best one is right now. So um, if you find yourself uh, failing over and over again, you have to find yourself uh, getting up and trying over and over again. Okay? So, um, really think of this um, and uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, I wish you the best year you ever had and I wish you, uh, you know, a lot of strength to stick to your New Year's resolutions. Okay. So all the best. I hope this helped. And uh, if you want to talk more about your resolutions, then let me know. We might figure something out how to set you on a journey to a success. Okay. Bye.